for those of you in a hurry, properties, appearance, FX, distort and transform, zigzag, size, ridges. For those of you not in a hurry, enjoy the rest of the video. In this video, I'd like to show you how to turn a line into a zigzag or a wave and how to turn either of those into a repeating pattern. So let's select this line just here and get started. So here in the properties panel, in the appearance section, we have this FX icon just here. Just so you know, all of the effects I'm about to show you can also be applied via the effect menu just here. With this selected, clicking on FX, Distort and Transform, Zigzag. The Zigzag dialog box pops up just here. Make sure Preview is turned on. We have a size slider just here. If I drag this up, we can change the size. Or we can type in a number, or click inside of here and use our up and down arrow keys. If you include the Shift key, you can move these 10 pixels at a time. 60 is looking pretty good. Let's look at ridges per segment. If I drag this up, the number increases out here like so. Again, we can manually change this. I'm going to bring this down to nine, press the tab key to commit that. And this is looking great. Let's choose okay. Now you can see our line fundamentally still exists just here, but this nice zigzag effect has been applied and we can see that just here in the properties panel. Now to get rid of the effect, simply click on the trash can. Let's undo that. To edit the effect, simply click on zigzag. The same dialog box pops up just here. Let's actually bring that size down a little, choosing OK, and we have successfully made that change. Let's select the next line just here and make this wave just here. So with the line selected, FX, Distort and Transform, Zigzag. Yes, the exact same effect I showed you a moment ago. The trick here, Points, change it from the default of Corner to Smooth. Let's increase that size. Uh, ridges per segment, seven's looking good just there. Let's choose OK. Again, like before, there's our Zigzag effect just there. Click on it to make a change if needed. Let's now look at how to create this pattern just here. So I first need a line with a zigzag on it. So why don't we just copy this guy just here. Now, rather than copy and paste, a nice little trick for you to know, while using the selection tool, if you hold down the Alt or the Option key, you can actually drag out a copy of something within Illustrator. Actually, this trick works in many Adobe programs. So I'm still holding down Alt or Option to drag out a copy. If I now include the Shift key, I can also make sure this is nicely vertically aligned. And I'll just now release the mouse. Fantastic. So this just here is an exact copy of this. So you can see here with this line selected, there's our zigzag effect just there. So we're going to now apply a second effect to create this look just here. So again, let's click on FX, Distort and Transform, Transform. The Transform Effect dialog box pops open. We can change lots of things like the scale or the rotation. Let's keep this nice and simple and just play with the vertical move option just here. So if I drag this up, also of course, make sure your preview is turned on. This is nicely moving, but to create copies like I have just here, use copies just down here. So I'm gonna bring this up to five. That's looking good just there. So then of course, we just play with the vertical spacing just here. Six is looking great, choosing OK, and we are done. But let's say I wish to alter that transform effect. Well, this is interesting. Over here, we used to have the word zigzag. Now we are just seeing this little eye icon, which tells us the selection contains multiple effects. Open the appearance panel for details. Basically, the Illustrator properties panel in its current incarnation 
can only show one effect at a time. That may change in the future. Now to open up the appearance panel they're referring to, click on the triple dots just here, or you can also click up under window and there's the appearance panel just there. So again, with this line selected just here, we can see its stroke and its fill. We can also see the applied zigzag and transform effects. And what's extra fantastic about the appearance panel is we can use these eyeball icons just here to easily turn on and off the visibility of individual effects. If we wish to delete an effect, just use the trash can just down here. And of course, to edit an effect, simply click once on the entry and the same dialog box will open up. We could make a change if needed, but in this case, I like what we had, so I'll just cancel out of here. There's one last tip I would like to leave you with. Remember, if I select this object just here, fundamentally, it's still a single line with an effect applied to it. What happens if I want to expand this artwork and then start to manually make a change? Well, currently I can't. Now, rather than do this to each object individually, I'm just going to select them all like so, come straight up to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Now, if I go and grab the Direct Selection tool, I can make changes to this like so. I can easily change this pattern as well. Just one last thing I'd like to leave you with here. If I grab the Selection tool and click on this, you can see that this is actually a large group of shapes. And with this selected, we can see the word group just up here. If you right mouse click on this and choose ungroup, you can then separate those paths like so. So that's creating zigzags and waves and patterns here inside of Illustrator. I hope that helps. Catch you later.